Meantime, Abaco residents can brace for increased police presence after a brawl on Guanaki captured the attention of officials. Now this, according to Assistant Commissioner of Police for Grand Bahama and the Northern Bahamas, BK Bonamy. A Raven Davis spoke with the North's top cop and he has more in this report. A video making the rounds on social media purporting to be tourists and locals involved in a brazen daylight brawl on Abaco was actually taken out of context. Police officials apprising the public of the facts in a press release. Preliminary reports indicate that on July 9th, 2023, two separate incidents occurred at a resort in Guanaki in the Abacos. Police say the first incident involved a physical altercation between two families visiting from the United States. The second incident reportedly occurring after a visit visiting patron observing the altercation between the families attempted to leave the property but was unable to as the golf cart operated by the patron was obstructed by another golf cart. Further, police reports indicate that the patron, also a Florida resident, made inquiries to locate the operator of the golf cart who was a Bahamian woman. However, she refused to remove the golf cart which resulted in a physical fight between the duo. At this juncture, Assistant Commissioner of Police for Grand Bahama, Abaco Bimini and the Keys, BK Bonamy Jr., saying that since Hurricane Dorian, police presence has been a challenge on one or two islands. He assured, however, that steps are being taken to mitigate against future recurrences of this issue. As the officer in charge, uh, it, it is my intention to visit Abaco uh, sometime next week uh, to visit these Keys and to see the uh, deficiency as it relates to manpower and then make recommendations to the commissioner. I don't believe wherever there is a police present, you sit, you tend to see a uh, 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 decrease in criminal activities or in bad behavior, whether it's from members of the public, whether it's tourists. Police are reportedly questioning four adults, three behemoths, and an American female in connection with this incident. The suspects in both matters are expected to be formally arraigned in the magistrate's court. Meantime, Bonamy urging the public to refrain from sharing erroneous information, but instead allow police to conduct their investigations. I just want to say that, you know, sometimes when we see uh, these things in social media, we tend to um, make comments with old facts. And that's why I always say a lot of police will investigate. A lot of police investigate so they can bring some interviewers or something to head to say that it will happen instead of not just blaming or trafficking what we saw in our, on social media. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis.